Hi, so I think your um, presentation is very thorough um, with added notes along with the slides. I think osteoporosis is um, definitely one diagnosis that um, primary care providers will encounter in the clinic. Your PICO question, um, for women of 55 years and older, how will combined non-pharmacological and pharmacological treatments compared to pharmacological treatment only help prevent fractures in the next five years after implementation? I think it is also um, well thought out with a practical timeline of um, five years. I think the non-pharmacological interventions you mentioned, um, which are the diet rich in macro and micronutrients um, that promote healthy bone mineral density and diets rich in minerals and vitamins that create a protective um, effect on postmenopausal women is a valuable um, add-on when we see patients um, at higher risk for um, osteoporosis. You also mentioned physical exercise as another um, non-pharmacological intervention and how it can be more difficult for older patients to practice. I think um, that is a good talking point to female patients who have um, higher BMI so before they hit the age of 55 and older or the postmenopausal um, stage um, as primary care, um, as family nurse practitioners, we can start the education early. Um, and again, obesity is a culprit to other diseases like hypertension, diabetes, um, a lot of low back pain and um, joint pain. So. Um, Emphasizing on weight loss and physical activity is important not only to um, to high risk patients for osteoporosis or those with osteoporosis already, um, and so um, if patients can start a routine physical exercise, then prevention of bone mineral density loss can be started again um, early on. Thank you for your presentation.